Run Marcel Firehouse in today's session of Visual J Forex. We will be starting afresh with a new indicator block named Arun. This is the indicator which gives the idea of trend as well as the strength of the trend. So we will see how we can uh, utilize this indicator block to design and develop the algorithm on the Visual J Forex platform, which has been developed by the Dugoscopy Bank asset. You will find this indicator listed amongst the momentum indicator just below the APO. We had done the prior session on the APO, absolute price oscillator. Now, today it's the turn of Aaron indicator. We will see how we can uh, design and develop the logic using this uh, indicator here. This is the indicator block where we will have to define its uh, four important input parameters depending on which we will get the output values. I had also done the preliminary introductory session on these uh, indicators uses. So you can refer to that video if you want to go into the details on the technical aspects of this uh, indicator, how it is uh, built and uh, what are its uh, functional functioning how it functions now for this session we will be limiting our uh, scope to the algorithm development so i will not uh, go into the technical details of it but uh, instead of that we will see how we can uh, use that to build a functional algorithm there is the usb gpy chart and uh, for this session we will be developing the algorithm using the USD GPY as our default instrument. This is the hourly time frame, and here I will plot the Aaron indicator. This one. So this is the default uh, indicator time period of 14. And uh, it is uh, fairly simple to understand. When we see that the Aaron up is uh, trading above the Aaron down, it uh, indicates bullish momentum when we see that arrow up is uh, below the arrow down it is uh, indicative of the bearishness and uh, to look at the strength of the indicator we have to look at its uh, values we need for the strong bullish momentum the arrow up to be at 100 and for uh, bearish momentum for strong bearish momentum the arrow down value should be at zero so this gives us the idea of the trend and uh, the strength of the trend. So what we will do, we will uh, use both these aspects. We want the trend change. We want the bullish momentum to be just uh, to be at its uh, initial uh, time, initial momentum, and uh, also the trend should be strong enough. So we want the trend to be executed when. The trend is just uh, initiated with the strong momentum. So for that, we can use a particular combination where we look at the crossover when the iron up value goes above the iron down value, and at the same time, it also goes on to approach the hundred. So that means the momentum has now shifted from bearish to bullish with the strong uh, bullish undertone, and uh, that means it is. Uh, much more likely to be sustained and we will also look at uh, the price action how last uh, couple of candles have opened and closed we will see the price volatility also and uh, depending on that we will be placing the order and for bearish trade we need the iron down value to be crossing below the iron up value and it should be at uh, zero and suppose if it is taking uh, too much time for that change to happen, we will not really go for the trade we, as we just want to be trading when these are initial hours, first few hours of the trade change and after that, we will uh, simply step uh, aside and uh, sit on the sidelines. So that's how I plan to go ahead the, with the design and development of these uh, Algorithm using the arrow indicator. So let us now start adding the blocks which are necessary for a functional algorithm. First thing we will have to do is take some logical blocks if three 
and those who have been regular be watching this uh, visual j fixation might have got the idea already that first thing first we need to do the instrument subscription where default instrument needs to match the handle instrument oh. and even if it was in first uh, input value first input variable even that uh, wouldn't have made much of a difference we would uh, simply need to bring in the default instrument variable again they should match and again we have to take a look on the last week our scandal last our scandal candle instrument and this should be usd jpy so I will have to search for the USD JPY here and I think oh it's taking okay I finally want it alright also here we need to change this to USD JPY USD JPY is somewhere on the lower side only. Okay, here it is. So here the instrument of choice for this station is USD JPY. Then we need to look at the position amount. And for that, all position, position amount should be equal to zero. Okay. All position, position amount equals to zero, and then we have to change this uh, time period to hourly. And ship will use uh, one. Okay. And read uh, the number of uh, candles, the total candles which will uh, which will be used to calculate this uh, indicator is going to be fourteen. Then we will have these up values, the arrow down and arrow up. Now we will have to take one more arrow block as we want to do the comparison and see whether the arrow up is actually up or down. So for that we need to take another arrow block and it's taking a bit time here. Oof. Let me see what's wrong. Let me change the net connectivity in some other. Okay, now let me try again. All right, it's back, thankfully. This one also needs to be changed to our time frame. The twelve will be okay. 
Okay, so we got these two blocks which we will uh, use to do the comparison and now we have to use some info components and uh, to look at the price volatility we will take this get historical candles block where we will uh, look at the cluster of four hourly candles so here this is the change to Hourly value will be one that means four candles closing with last hour and this amount we will reduce to and then to retrieve the individual components of this array of data we will have to take a logical components look viewer okay And we will name it historical by no candles. Okay. And uh, then we also want more info regarding how last hourly candle closed. For that, we will take one more and then this 10 second candles to pinpoint the exact entry and exit point so here i will join this and this will be changed to hourly shift value of 1 This will be changed to 10 seconds. Here also shift value of 1. And this one also needs to be changed. 10 seconds. Shift value of 2. okay so far so good we have got these uh, blocks to look at the iron uh, values how it is uh, moving whether the iron up is actually going up or uh, whether the iron down is going up because uh, both these values for uh, trend uh, to be strong needs to go up whether it is iron up or whether it is iron down even if the well, bullish, uh, sorry, bearish momentum is strong, we need the uh, and down value to go actually up. So for that, we will have to do the comparison. And uh, at the same time, we also need the uh, good enough momentum in the price. So for that, we will also define certain uh, values which we need to be in place prior to the execution. So for that, we will carry out some calculations and uh, for that I will get mathematical blocks. So here, we want the high-low difference for last 4 hours to be at least 20 pips or 25 pips or 15 pips. You can make changes as per your uh, requirement and uh, for that we have to take the default instrument tip size and multiply it by a new element 20. I know the difference should be 20. So here is 